Merry Meet. Good day, everyone. This is Glennis, the Witch of Whitetail Hollow. There is actually quite a nice lady that has subscribed to my channel, and she um, had talked about raising energy and working and things like that, and we discussed my singing bowls, and I promised her a short little video on my singing bowls, and she was very curious, so there you are. I actually use these really, really often. Sometimes I will just sit and, you know, work with them a little bit. Sometimes I do use them before working, but I would love to demonstrate one for you. Maybe I can, maybe later this week, if someone asks me. And again, in the description uh, in, in below, if you want to comment, if there's a spell or anything that you want me to do or whatever, I'll what I'll do is I'll bring out my favorite singing bowl and uh, we, we can do it from there. But anyway, it's just, just uh, you know, those up there and then, of course, my herbs right here. Um, again, this is just one cabinet because I'm in a very small house and my space is super, super limited right now. So I can't go out, so I have to go up. That's the, that's the rule. <laughs> you have to go up. So, um, yeah or just a few little things, lemongrass, and my dirt daubers, and my goofer dust, and, you know, just, you know, things like that. Nothing, nothing too incredibly exciting, so, things I'm sure that we all have. Let's see, back here I've got um, my carrier oils, almond, and my chili oil, and of course to stabilize your oils, you're going to need your vitamin E. And I've got my hygiene oil that I make, and protection oil and uh, controlling oil and my hot my hot foot oil and um, this I'm going to use this for my mercury retrograde oil this year this or this month I should say and then this candle is a, really a unique candle is it is a, a two-faced skull candle so you can imagine what I'm going to do with that for those who are dealing with people who are two-faced. And then I've got my mo a few mosses back here in my cauldron and my charcoal, incense, and my hecate water, my moon water that I made, of course, and different incenses. I mean, how exciting is that, right? Uh, but you know, it gets really incredibly exciting when you go outside and you find a dead spider I'm sure he died of natural causes, pretty sure. But, uh, you know, it gets exciting when there he is. So I've got him. I don't know quite what I'm going to do with him, but I'll figure something out. And there's my Hecate water still charging. And uh, my road opener candle that I'm working for someone that I hope is helping. I hope so. And um, my protection ball that is still charging. And my selenite, of course. And down here, well, really, it's just, you know, more storage. I've got um, uh, just my chips and my resins. And, of course, uh, my brown paper. Of course, we all have that brown paper. I don't like machine edges. I like to tear mine. Um, let's see what's in here. Oh, my just small candles. My working candles. And let's see. I found this mirror at uh, Goodwill. I, I need to do a little bit of touch-up on it, but that's okay. It, it, it really needed a home, and it, it just had to come with me. And let's see, back here, I don't think that I showed this. I'm not really quite sure, but I've got skull mugs. I found, I, I just couldn't leave them there. It was the last ones there, and I just couldn't leave them there. And then, of course, skull shot glasses that I use on my altar. And, and again, some mosses and things like that. My chips, and there's probably a few more oils in here that I made. Let's see, down here, definitely all my oils and things like that. My pendulum mat, and this is where I make my sachet bags and, you know, a few other little little cozy things, but, um, you know, it's, it's quite a nice cabinet. I can just sit here and I can, I can pull this out and do a little bit of work. And let me see if I can get this cabinet closed. And over here, just excuse the mess here. Uh, I, and I'm sure most of you guys don't know, but I, I make barnwood signs 
And there's one I actually made. I'm getting ready to go up to the hollow this holiday weekend. And so I made this for him. He's actually a very, very nice man. He lives all across the street from where my property is. And he's been working, he's been there about a year, and he's been working really super hard. But I made this for him. And he asked me, he said, well, since you're the whitetail hollow, I want to be called Lonesome Cove. So I made him a sign. It's called Lonesome Cove. Gosh. And then I made these two signs. And I painted these and because there are definitely bears there. Like I said, just please excuse the mess here. But, um, yeah. So I'll give one to him, and I'll have one. And, of course, this is my dressing table where I get dressed and do my makeup and stuff. But um, over here is a, a small gallery wall that I have. Uh, now this, after my mother passed, I got from her house and you know in hindsight now that I go out antiquing and things like this I see this exact piece of artwork everywhere so I'm beginning to think they just issued it in the 30s or 40s or whenever it was to people who just got married who had homes but uh so it's not very unusual or rare but you know it was it hung in my mom's house for as long as I can remember so and, of course, we all know what this is. This is hand-embroidered. So, so pretty. And then, no, this is not me. This is my mom when she was a child. And this is a... Let me turn this light off here. And this is a piece of... Uh, I, I don't know if it was a card or if it was meant to be a piece of artwork or what... But when my mom was a child, she, uh, I think, gave this to her grandfather. So that would be my great-grandfather. And, yeah, it says, given to me by Grandma Sims, October of 71. So when my great-grandmother, I guess after my grandfather, great-grandfather passed, she gave that back to my mom. And then, of course, this artwork, I do not know who this is by, but I believe it's titled The Good Samaritan. And that was at my grandmother's house. So this is kind of like a, a family wall, you know, a little bit of memories and, you know, keep things in perspective. But I hope everyone has a wonderful week, a wonderful day. And if there's a spell or anything else you guys would like to see, I'd probably be working tomorrow and Wednesday. Uh, just leave a comment below and I'll be looking out for it, okay? So I'm, with that, I'm going to say Mary part, but I certainly hope to marry meet again.